Hi everybody, today we're going to look at an app called Terrain Tinker and this is an upcoming Kickstarter and uh, it is uh, in conjunction and they're working together partnering up with uh, printable scenery in New Zealand and uh, let me show you a little bit about this app and uh, how it works. Now uh, printable scenery um, did do a, a more in-depth uh, thing on how to use the program, a, a tutorial, a tutorial if you will. Um, I'm just going to kind of show an overview and uh, one of the uh, one of the one of the tiles that I made, um, you know, printed up and uh, painting. So, uh, well, without further ado, this is uh, very intuitive. And uh, what you do is what <clears throat> the purpose is is to prepare um, an STL file um, using printable the printable scenery um, terrain uh, STL files to. Uh, prepare it to be sliced and diced and printed. So <clears throat> what I've done here, it's very intuitive. What I've done is I um, dragged a um, one of the um, tiles that they have, one of the files that they have. It's a four square, four square floor tile, and then um, it's just simply just dragging, um, dragging this. Uh, I'm going to drag the. Uh, uh, guy with the um, guy hanging from the chains um, wall. Okay, they they section them off on different walls, and then you drag it over to where you want it. You can. Um, I'm going to put it on top of the um, <clears throat> on top of the um, floor tile, and I'm not sure if that's exactly where we want it to be. You kind sometimes you got to kind of play with it. Uh, that's one feature I wish they had is where it would just uh, automatically level it out. There we go. <clears throat> okay, and that, that's uh, that's pretty close. Uh, okay, so you just it's just you drag you drag the picture of the tile uh, p or wall piece that you want. Um, they they're organized by door, wall, floor. Um, here's the different floors. You have wooden floors, uh, different sizes, and there, there's ways you can manipulate manipulate the file. You know, like if say you want to, uh, one of the sections to be wood. There's ways you can expand <coughs> expand the uh, tile down. Um, and uh, this uh, a benefit to this is uh, you can kind of figure out which tiles you want to do and what they're going to look like once they're printed. Um, sometimes um, it, with the um, <clears throat> sometimes with uh, printable scenery tiles, they list it under B A or you know they they don't you know they'll give like a well, th th these are the A S files <clears throat> and I always forget what the what size the tiles are or what they look like when I'm trying to just uh, fix them on um, fi uh, fix them to the uh, you know to my build plate uh, you know for printing. Um, the, uh, the you know this makes it easy. It's a it's a snap, and uh, this is a joint venture with Printable Scenery, so they're probably only going to do Printable Scenery stuff. Now, when you put this on here, <clears throat> you have to um, you download it as an um, you download it as a SDL file. Um, on the beta version, you cannot um, just you cannot take this directly to the printer. Or if you can, I haven't figured it out. But pretty much, what you have to do is save it, um, like you would, uh, re um, you know, like uh, you download a file, uh, you know, an STL file, and then you upload it onto another slicer, um, and then you put that uh, sliced uh, version into your printer for the printing. Uh, I I think this is really uh, really a neat thing. Now you can um, drag them on there, you know, kind of fiddle with them a little bit, and then you do have the option of saving the file as individual pieces or as one big piece. Uh, the pieces will be open lock, uh, you know, the, uh, all the things will be open lock. But I don't like uh, modular. I just don't like modular systems. I don't like having to figure out, uh, you know, how many uh, those little clips you're going to need. And um, and what's really cool is when you print them up, they um, there's no holes. Okay, you know, in some of the uh, modular um, printable scenery walls, there's a hole to put a clip to clip them together. And what I've been doing <coughs> with all of the files. Um, no matter what company um, you know the, the files are from, I kind of I don't like the holes, so I'll cut um, I'll cut the bottom 
um, up to the hole, up to the top of whatever hole is there. Slice it out, and then um, discard the bottom part, and then that way I don't have any holes. But this, I this way I don't have to do that. Then what I do when uh, when I, after I sliced it, I would uh, glue it onto a, I glue it onto a uh, four by four um, little painting, uh, uh, little portable canvas, small canvas. Um, then that way, you know, it gives it a little weight. And this is one that the, these are printable scenery um, things. You got the bone pile, um, the f uh, stone floor, and some of the just the generic walls. Um, so yeah, I um, I like this. And um, well, um, let's take a look. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's take a look at um, at um, I actually made a print, and then let's take a quick look at that. Okay, now. Uh, this um, this one is the um, what it's um, the one that I put in the example. The uh, um, you know I just kind of linked it together. I'm sure you can kind of put it together so there's no there's no real big gap. Uh, once you paint it, um, you know the gap's fine. Um, the whole it ranks up pretty well to the um, it ranks up pretty well to the ones that I put on the on the painter canvas. Okay, see. So, yeah. But well, now I don't have to do that. It's thick enough, um, you know, no holes, and uh, there was some uh, stringing, but uh, you know, not not really bad. You know, it's just, you know, I just scraped that off. Um, it took eight hours to print, which uh, that's not bad. Uh, I printed it at the, uh, you know, at the fastest setting I could, and then uh, you know, uh, put it in, did some work. And then uh, in eight hours, it, it was here. So, uh, in uh, let's take. I'm gonna paint it up, uh, prime it, and paint it. Get those uh, get those little scraggly things off, and then I'll show you the example of it painted. All right, so I've finished painting the um, painting the tile, and um, I just kind of did a real quicko one. Just I, I was curious to see how this came out. Um, yeah, I just um, sprayed it uh, black. Then uh, went over it with a light dusting of a gray spray. Um, painted a couple of the painted a couple of the stones, you know, in um, you know browns and uh, tans. And then I did a really quick dry brush over the um, you know over it so that uh, with uh, titanium white uh, uh, artist acrylic from Master's Touch, uh, available at uh, the Hobby Lobby uh, with a 40% off coupon, but it was actually, I believe, 50% off because sometimes they'll have a sales on all the Master's Touch uh, stuff at 50%. But anyway, the wood parts, uh, I went over, it was still gray, and then I went over it with uh, a contrast paint. I, it's either Skeleton Horde or Snake Bite Leather. Uh, you know, kind of got a good wood tone, and then I painted, uh, I painted the uh, the metal parts with, uh, uh, I believe it's, um, I want to say natural steel by uh, Vallejo, um, and then the skelly. Um, I didn't want to go too detailed on the skelly uh, because sometimes, uh, you know, if your terrain is too detailed, um, it hides the you know the goodness of the figs um, I just kind of went over it and also too I painted this at the um, at the lowest possible uh, detailed setting so it was a point two uh, layer height um, you know and you know for figs I'll do 1.2 um, came out pretty good now I'm really excited about the uh, about the product uh, about the uh, program and uh, I'm hoping that um, You'll be able to, um, you know, put all of the, um, you know, all of the printable scenery stuff in it. Uh, I'm not sure how that's going to work. I, it might be where you buy, you know, if you buy the, uh, you might have to like um, buy the, you know, buy the different, um, um, the different categories. And, um, you know, I, I hope uh, I hope that's not the case. I hope you kind of get everything if you own the. Um, STL files for uh, you know from printable scenery. Now, as I mentioned before, c pr printable scenery is one of the few companies that uh, no matter what, I'll buy it. You know, sight unseen, I'll back the full Kickstarters, uh, etc. And I'm uh, one thing that I'm really planning on using this 
um, this program for this app for is doing big, uh, you know, doing big rooms. Uh, you know, like a, you, you know, you could do a full in, you know, do the out the walls on the floor for a big in, and I, I kind of want to do some of the. Um, mansions of madness uh, tiles and uh, you know this is perfect it's kind of hard to see um, you know how it's going to work out in a big uh, you know for a big setting so um, yeah uh, I'll put a link below to the, the right now they they have a, a, a thing where you know you'll they'll ask you uh, if you want to be uh, advised of when the Kickstarter goes live and I'll also put a link to printable sceneries um, tutorial on it uh, and uh, yeah there you go um, so uh, yeah run out and run out and get this product give it an A plus and a hearty thumbs up um, what do you think um, give me your thoughts below uh, you know if you're planning on backing this Kickstarter or uh, if there's anything um, anything that uh, you'd like to add to this so you know once again uh, it's really this is really neat because you can um, you can put your uh, tile, you know, see what your tiles, <coughs> excuse me, see what your tiles are going to look like. And uh, there you go. Bob's your uncle. Thanks for watching. Bye now.